Thank you once again for joining me today for the Path of Ascension, Humility for Master of the Path. We will be doing a Thanos, so we're going to come over to our Soul Mirror, so we're going to go to a Thanos, we come over here to Humility, and then from here we're going to use Clea for this, so we're going to choose Clea. And then we're going to come over here for this, we're going to use the File of Serenity, just like we did with Splinter Bark Nightmare. So for this, a Thanos is a pure melee boss. The things you want to watch out for, of course, are power swing. It's a frontal cleave swing that if it connects with you, it will knock you backwards a great distance. So if you're going to get hit by it, I'd recommend to have your back in this direction so that way you fly over here. Since we're going to on a tight schedule with the timer, which I believe on a Thanos is 2 minutes 30 seconds. We'll see that once we start the fight. But that way you land over there because if you get hit in any other direction, you're going to fly off the stage. The second thing he does is massive charge. It's a frontal charge that will take him from across the stage. So if you're fighting him here and he charges in this direction, he will charge all the way to the edge. So for this, since we are in a tight timer, once so that way he doesn't enrage, is we're going to want to park him in an area where we can still, his charge doesn't take him too far away from us, and we can sidestep it and continue DPSing him. His third ability is shielded charging. He will take a knee and start regenerating uh, his energy. He uses that whenever he uses one of his abilities. And he will have two shields that will rotate around him slowly, either clockwise or counterclockwise. Let's say, for example, if it's going this way around him, I would recommend standing towards the shield that is rotating away from you. If you're standing near the shield that is rotating towards you, there is a dead zone where it doesn't look like there's a shield, but he will absorb the damage rather than taking it. So do be mindful of that. And his final ability is uh, Quaking Shockwave which will do two rings around him. So the first one is a close one within melee distance, so about here, and then he'll do an outer one about there. So you can just step out real quickly, let it hit, step back in. If not, it, I haven't really seen it do all too much damage. But of course, we'll be uh, DPSing him with Ascended Strike. We'll be using Keen Insight to retaliate so we can reflect some damage back at him. Leap of Faith we'll use if we absolutely need to, most likely probably get out of Quaking Shockwave. And then, of course, we'll be using... Archon's Blessing to do a lot of damage during that phase, so we're going to want to make sure to keep him as close as possible, and we took File Serenity if we need any help. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to ring the bell, and just like you, do the same, so that way you can get notifications of when I post new content. Also, leave a like, leave a comment, make sure to follow me or subscribe on YouTube, or you can also follow me on Twitch. I am the underscore dab86. Let's go ahead and get this started here. And once again, since this is for Master of the Path, you cannot use any charms and you cannot use any braziers. So I have those deactivated currently. So this is straight out Clea here. It doesn't really matter which way you take him here. Just I'm doing this so that way I can get him closer to a wall so he doesn't charge a huge distance away from me when he does do his charge. There's Quaking. power swing And that is a Thanos. We barely beat him because, once again, I made two mistakes there. I let a shockwave hit me. 
and I let him charge away. But that is a Thanos. So now we just need Craven Corinth and Azurux 